Now, five civil society organizations under the Malala Fund Education Champions say the North is has the highest number of out-of-school children in the world, while Adamawa State has the highest in Nigeria. Speaking at the town hall on the state-level education manifesto for political candidate, a lecturer at the Modibo Adama University, Yola, Jamila Suleiman, said Adamawa education infrastructure has decayed. On funding, women rights campaigner Imaniela Mwahiri urged the government to earmark 22% of its yearly budget to fund education properly. The CSOs blamed early marriage, location of schools, and poor hygiene as some of the factors that affect girls' education in the Damawa state. You have to make these things available in the school. Uniforms should be free. Exercise books should be free. During my days, in my day, I will just bring a full SF and the front teacher will just tear them out and give me a new one. Yes. But so do you will encourage them to come to school. Um, like during our period, uh, there are no items uh, we use to clean ourselves, so we'll be embarrassed. That's why we don't usually come to school. First, the government said it's free education, but we are still paying school fees and PCA. And if we do not pay it, they'll chase us from school. I'm not satisfied with it, 100%. Why? But the government is trying, at least more than before. There is no money for them to write both Kwaek and Neko. So issue of re-education for now, seriously, the government has done well. But issue of hiding school fees, I had someone saying hiding school fees. It's not hiding school fees. It's a PTA, PTA, PTA fund. And that money is being contributed. It's an agreement between teachers and, par and, and parents. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.